What what was the story behind him? Why was he? I don't know. He had some kind of mental disorder. He thought that women were dolls. Like you know, in stories. And he needed to, you know, smash their heads in or something. Finally, the door opens up, and there's this guy standing, and he was looking at us, you know, in uniforms and all these <laughs> special rubber gloves and, and face mask and, and the camera, and they were like, "What are you guys doing here?" And the Hawker says, well, we thought you were dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not, he said. And then he closed the door. Yeah. Make pancakes, make bigger pancakes. Take some bacon and I'll put it in a pancake. Make pancakes, that's what it's gonna make. Make pancakes. The pancakes. It's American pancakes. Can you guys believe it? A kind of Swedish touch on it. Yeah. We need more nutrition than so we are gonna smush some bananas. And oats. And oats. Yes. So make it more meaty and a bit more healthy. Yeah, that's good. Mm-hmm. So we need a bowl. Mm-hmm. I just wanna eat this. We have a lot more, right? Yeah, but don't eat it all. Then you're gonna have to make some more. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna show them what you're doing. Oh, you're smushing yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the banana. The banana here. Amazing. Well, also prepare the, the berries. Yeah? Yes. Strawberries and raspberries. Then you have the maple joe from Canada. Always good. What does your dad do for work? He's a cop. It actually feels really like, because my mom is a makeup artist and my dad is a cop. It's just like very different jobs, mm. I guess. Well, now they're asking what kind of cop stuff you do. <laughs> Mostly paperwork, you know. Yeah, he's not, he's not on the field anymore or anything. I'm grateful for the police. Thank you, Melina Stad. Hmm? Someone said, I'm grateful for the police. Thank you, Melina Stad. Do you feel like you're doing like good to society? Yeah. Like, yeah? For many years, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Hopefully the taxpayers will get their money back, you know. Service. Mm -hmm. Public. I want to do something too. <laughs> I can. Just, I can stand here and copy. Enter, <laughs> entertain the your viewers. True. Okay, I'll just entertain the viewers while he's cooking. That's great. <laughs> no, we don't have yeah. any cinnamon. Do we? Yeah, we cinnamon do. is pretty yeah. good. We're gonna. We're gonna throw it in. Oh. Let's have that. oats. Oats. And we'll see if this works out. This is. Uh, this is not my. My stove. We'll see how it goes. The trick is to like, if there's like no bubbles anymore, Yeah. that's when you're supposed to flip it. Yeah? Well, this is the first one, it's always going to be... Kind of meh. No kind one wants kind of a that. misfit. Yeah. <laughs> like the first child. <laughs> what?! I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, I'm actually not the first no, child though, so it's okay. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> He's bullying me all the time. Everyone's bullying me. Tell us a weird story, uh, what happened to you during your duty. It doesn't have to be like super serious, but no. just like, funny. One time they thought this uh, dispatcher put us on the job. Well, we thought it was, it was a guy that committed suicide in his apartment and we were, you know, whenever we got this kind of, kind of jobs, it was like that as a fact. So my colleague, you know, he started dressing up with rubber gloves and, you know, and, and you know, all the kind of special gear that you have because this guy has, you know, he hasn't. His relatives hasn't heard from him for many, many months, and uh, there was like a certain smell, bad smell, odor coming up from the from the apartment. So, so the neighbors were complaining. So, yeah, so we went there. Him. Yeah, we went there, and you know, he was all dressed up with the camera and like the rubber gloves and you know the face mask and everything because he yeah, thought it was going to be quite messy. Ring the doorbell in case you know, but no, it, this, this this has to be a dead one. So I said so. We're about to get the door open up, and then the, finally the door opens up, and there's this guy standing, <laughs> and he was looking at us, you know, in uniforms and all these <laughs> special rubber gloves and, and face masks and, and the camera, and they were like, he was asking, "What are you guys doing here?" And the Hawker says, "Well, we thought you were dead." <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not," he said, and then he closed the door. Yeah. It was a like, kind of awkward. Yeah, it was kind of awkward situation because I was like, "Oh, a ghost!" You know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you burn it? 
A bit. A little bit. Uh oh. I'll have to get it down. Mm-hmm. This one looks okay. Yeah? Yeah, looks good. Why right, so? Look at that. This one's so good. Look! Wow! Wow! He's doing it. Mmm. You want more? Mmm. <laughs> Have you ever met someone that was like a serial killer or anything? No. Or seen not someone? Well, yeah, I met, actually, I met, met one. Like, I killed at least three people that, you know. Wait, was that at the. Which place was that at? Was that through, um, like when you were working as a cop or. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wish, wait, my dad would make pancakes. He went mm. to get, wait, to go buy milk 25 years ago and I'm still waiting for him. I see. Huge one. Huge. Look. Wow. I thought that you've actually met another serial, not serial killer, but another murderer. But that was when you worked at the, what do you call it, mental hospital? A psychiatric institution. Yeah, yeah I've done that. But there's plenty of those guys there. Yeah. You said that the most sane-looking guy at that place. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, he was. Very, he was like the old. worst one. Yeah, he was like the worst one. Yeah, that's the one. Well, what was that story behind him? Why was he? I don't know. He had some kind of mental disorder. He thought that when he get, get when he turned into his dark period, he thought that women were. Dolls, like like, like, uh, like window like, dolls. What do you yeah, call them? yeah. Like you know, in stories. And he needed to, you know, smash their heads in. Or something. Was, that, that was like very strange, strange fellow. But he was in a psychiatric. <laughs> but he seemed like the most sane one. Yeah, yeah, he did. Really? Yeah, he smashed their head. You know, he mm -hmm. needed to. That's what his. Uh, he thought his obligation was to do, smash their heads. Something. It was very strange. They look super good. You're asking about your work at routine schedule. <laughs> Every day, almost. If, if there's a chance, do something. Just, Just do something, right? Move, push ups, sit ups, pull ups, whatever. Do you think like lifting weights is really important? Do you think you yeah, can get I think really? It's very important, especially when you get older. You need to go be able to go to the bathroom <laughs> by yourself. <laughs> so that's what you worked yourself yeah. up to. Do you ever feel like you used to work out for like to get girls or anything like that? Do you think you always yeah, worked out? You're younger when you but do But I mean, it, it helps being an old man and working out every day. <laughs> now they're calling you sugar daddy. This sugar daddy? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I, I think you kind of did it when you were younger though, because it was like mentally good for you, right? It was mentally good for me and I, you know, I like to, you know, if I was out clubbing or somewhere in Stockholm, you know, it was always it was, uh, an advantage looking good, I guess. <laughs> Wait, you were like clubbing when you were really young? Yes. How old were you when you were at your first club? Running around when we were like 15, 16. I had my my, uh, my sister's boyfriend's ID. We kind of look alike, and he was like five, six years five, five, six years older. Than Did you pay him to get that ID? No. He, he just, just gave it to you. He gave it to me. So. Yeah, and then you went to Afghanistan as well. Yes. You were how long were you, were you there for? One and a half years. No, about? just just a year. Is it that a military person? It was not for the military. No. It was for uh, European police. Yeah. European Union police. There's a bunch of Europeans there, right? Is yeah, there they Americans as well? Oh yeah, there was. The, yeah, there were a lot of Americans. Or I have a story from the time when you were in Afghanistan. This was like the craziest thing. This is so weird. So my dad, I think he was gone. I think he came in. You came back like maybe three times a year or something. Mm -hmm. But most of the time you were gone. And whenever you would come back, you would be here for like maybe two weeks or so. Mm -hmm. But not longer than that. I, I was really sad about that. I was really, really sad. I was having a really, really bad day at school. I remember that, so I was like very, very, very low. Yeah, it was, it was pretty far from my school to where we lived. So you had to take a bunch of like trains and buses and like the subway and stuff. Uh, and then when I sit on the subway, like maybe five meters away from me, my dad is sitting there. Yeah, that was strange. That was really strange for me. And I had no idea. It was like, you just were home. It wasn't planned actually. No, that was so strange. And he was sitting there and you had like your like all of the stuff with you and everything. Yeah. And I was only home for 48 hours, I think. Yeah, you were only home for 48 hours. Yay! We got it. Should we just take it here and then we go outside or? Let's do that. Mm -hmm.
Yum. You have so many stories from like different times of your life, which I think is really, really fun. So like you have so many stories from when you went to high school for a mm -hmm. year in Wisconsin when you were 17. Then you have so many stories from when you were trapped, like when you were backpacking, backpacking alone world, yeah. in Asia yeah. and Australia. When you work at the, what do you call it? It's like at the yeah, yeah, so many stories from that. That was a good job. You have stories from when you backpacked in South America? Or yes, in Brazil. Brazil. And then you have stories from being a cop. And stories from having kids. Yeah. All of it. 